17. All right, here we are, mid-May, May 17th. Uh, beautiful day. It's supposed to be one for the last all day, all weekend, actually. 35-mile trip south. See what we catch. See if we get another tuna like last weekend or two weekends ago. First spot, spot it called Don. We did pretty good on the big old B-liners. Uh, before I get the camera out, we got one B-liner on board and one Amaco jack, so we're gonna stick with this for a while. We've just put a chum slick out, and hopefully that'll get some kings coming our way. But uh, yeah, we'll see what we can do. We'll see what we can do. Who needs red snapper when you got B-liners that are five and six pounds apiece?
Oh, Go yes. Fish. Summer loving, having a blast. Looks like a bee liner, but it's a sea bass and a really good eating, good sashimi. Nice catch. No limits for the pump. Five pound bee liner. No arguments there. I was young, I would have scoffed at something like this. I wanted that big ass grouper. Now that I'm an old guy, I love these things. They don't hurt. They don't hurt. Let me catch it. See, Lee's finally starting to kick in what he's learned. He didn't learn how to dress. You know, I could put a hook in the gas and throw one. Look at my hand. No looking now. Doubles. Doubles going over there. Mouth. See, this is what happens when Jim fishes. He loses his bait. This is what happens when I fish. I catch the fish. The one time of the year you're doing great, you're freaking, look at you. Summer winter. Nice big line. Oh, no, I was starting to worry about Jimmy. You like, you like to get hit? Wow. Serious. I'm worried about you now. get got mouths like this. See how it's got like a messed up lip. I don't know what's up with that, but a lot of the big ones are like that. Real fish.
You can see that real good, but got a really nice cute little line on them and it is cute. Just the softest pink color and oh he's such a lovely fish. That's one. 